The Senate Committee on Defense and Army invited the Chief of Defense Staff and the Chief of Army Staff to appear before the committee to find out why the Nigerian Army has not been able to overcome Boko Haram, which has been unleashing terror in the northern part of the country. Now, the meeting came a few days after the bomb explosion in Potiskum, Yobe State, and Kwantabora in Niger State. So let's find out what happened during the meeting. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Kenneth Minima, makes his way into the meeting room in the National Assembly. He's here to meet with the Senate Committee on Defense and Army to explain why the Nigerian Army has not been able to overcome Boko Haram, which has been unleashing terror in the northern part of the country. This week alone, dozens of children were killed at the Government Technical Science College in Potiskum, Yubi State. And just three days later, a female suicide bomber blew herself up at the Federal College of Education, Kondagora, Niger State. The chairman of a defense committee opened the discussion. The way it is going, for instance, if they have taken over maybe uh, nine or ten local government areas, we are not quite sure. But if they are taking over such a number of places, uh, can some, even of our colleagues, go for election in those, in those uh, central district? Can the elections of all other officers, governors, the president, the state council assembly, can they be held in those areas? If they cannot be held, it's not going to affect the country. And we have just between now and uh, uh, February next year for the election. So we have a problem. The election will be better if it is conducted in a peaceful environment and peaceful uh, condition. As with meetings dealing with security issues, committee members asked journalists to leave to allow for frank discussions. The Chief of Army staff was also not prepared to address journalists without briefing the committee in private first. Done with the discussions, more than two hours later, the Chief of Army staff had this to say. We had a setback in Baza, but uh, it resulted in the loss of territories up to Nubi. And um, painful though, but uh, we're working very hard to retake those territories. And um, very soon, we will reclaim those territories, and indeed other territories held by these elements. I want to continue to rekindle the confidence of Nigerians, and particularly the ordinary Nigerians who have suffered the pain of this insurgency, that the Nigerian army will continue to do its best and strive to winning this war and reclaiming the last territories. The chairman of the Defense Committee also answered questions which had to do with the feasibility of elections holding in the troubled northeastern states in 2015. If we are able to get back all the territories that, were, that have been captured by the insurgents, then it means that there is peace in those areas that we can, we can go for election. Although the Chief of Army staff assured Nigerians that the Nigerian army would reclaim the areas taken over by Boko Haram, there are still critical questions that need answers, such as how do the terrorists bring weapons into the country? Does the Nigerian army have enough troops and ammunition to confront the terrorists? And whatever happened to the alleged ceasefire agreement? You're welcome back to the gavel. Now, the race for the 2015 elections is gathering momentum. And as expected, things are already heating up in the political arena. Watch. As politics heats up in the country, with the 2015 elections around the corner, three senators from the All Progressives Congress, APC, during the week defected to the Social Democratic Party, SDP. The senators, all from Ogun State, are Senator Adebenga Kaka, Senator Aki Odunsi, and Senator Binga Obadara. Senator Adebenga Kaka said the senators have delivered their letters to the Senate President informing him of their decision to leave the APC. We, the three senators, representing the entire Ogun state, Adigbinga, Sefio Kaka, Akin Babalola Odosi, and Olubinga Obadara, have just delivered our letters 
to the leadership of the Senate, notifying him of our resignation from the APC All Progressive Congress and declaring for Social Democratic Party, SDP. This was consequent upon the factionalization in APC in Ogun State, leading to the emergence of parallel congresses and executives from what local government and to state level. The two other defecting lawmakers also shed more light over what prompted them to leave the APC. The tendency of impunities, injustice, led us to where we are today. We are Democrats. We are responsible senators of the Federal Republic. And a situation where I've been waited two and a half years and all strata of authorities in APC were approached but were involved. A situation where our lives is on record January 6, January 9, where we, our supporters were hacked, where we are attacked, brutalized. And on the 16th of January, where our life was to be snuffed out, our heart list being shot, till today, nobody from the national sees that to be important. Who are you who you want to be a president with no life? If you look at that, we are being treated shabbily as nobody. A situation, we are three senators of the Federal Republic, we are nine of rep members, before two jumpship. We are the deputy governor of the state. That's of We are even the, the, the chief of Shoba. Many in as of, as of assembly, they are considered to be nobody who is then somebody. That tells you something in the human management. That tells you something in the way administration of our state is being administered. We have waited for over two and a half years to even have any interaction with the governor. The governor has decidedly avoided engaging us in any discussion. All our efforts, even at reaching out to him, has been rebuffed. I don't believe um, what we are doing today uh, is premeditated at all. It's quite a bad it's Long, we've been extremely patient, and we have explored all channels within the party to resolve this uh, debacle. But apparently, um, the leadership thinks otherwise. The three federal lawmakers are not the only lawmakers to defect from the APC. During the week, eight members of the Ogun State House of Assembly also defected to the People's Democratic Party and the Social Democratic Party. As the 2015 general elections approaches, more politicians are likely to leave one political party to another political party. The House of Representatives Committee on Finance during the week summoned the Minister of Finance and the managing director of the Nigeria Mortgage Refinancing Company over the federal government workers' housing scheme, which is alleged to be having funding challenges. Now, the committee ordered the ministries and government parastatals to appear before it to explain what led to the paucity of funds in the scheme. <laughs> These are agitated subscribers of the Workers' Affordable Housing Scheme. They had stormed the head office of the Nigeria Labor Congress to demand explanations after they paid a mandatory 10% subscription fee for the houses. And it appears nothing is happening. The leadership of the Nigeria Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress met the House of Representatives Committee on Finance to explain the challenge the scheme has been facing, which is funding. 
and we believed as workers that time that those deductions were not actually being utilized to the advantage of, the, of those who contribute them. And therefore, the deductions...